Hello, hello. Habari zenu. Nataka muniambie kila mtu ameendelea aje wiki yote yenye tumemaliza. Si Mungu ametulinda. Ticha Maria ko hapa, tumekuja, tujadiliane, tuongee, tutoe ushuhuda vile Mungu amekuwa akitulinda, si ndio? Eh, lakini kwanza we are going to start with the word of prayer. Tuombeni. Lord, we come before you this morning to say that we are grateful for everything that you've done unto our lives, Jehovah. We don't take it for granted that we are alive this morning, Jehovah. We know many could have wanted to be alive like us, Jehovah, but they are lying in morgues and in hospitals, Jehovah. But you have protected, you have protected us, Jehovah. As and our parents, Jehovah, our families, Jehovah. Now this morning, Jehovah, we want to come in front of you, Jehovah, to get to hear your word, Jehovah, that will guide us through this week, Jehovah, and through our lives, Jehovah. And it is in Jesus' mighty name we do pray and believe. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Sasa ningetaka tuimbe wimbo moja, wimbo moja mbili, tumshukuru buwana. Sindio, tuimbe gani? Our favorite song, He Got the Whole World. Sindio, ata kukua na mambo mabaya, si bado He Got the Whole World. He has been able to protect us, na sayi tuko hapa. Ajua metulinda wiki yote, hatujapato na mambo mabaya, and we are here today. So let us sing. He got the whole world. In his sense, 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 he got the little tiny baby. In his sense, he got the little tiny baby. In his sense, he got the little tiny baby. In his sense, he got the whole world. 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 In his sense. Ingine. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. Oh, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will be joined and be glad with it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Alafu sasa, naona ni wakati mzuri waku invite teacher wetu, sindio? Mwalimu wetu watufundishe, neno ambayo itatugaidu wiki gani? Wiki hii. See, we do welcome our teacher. Karibu ticha wetu, karibu, karibu, karibu ticha wetu. Karibu sana. Thanks so much, Tia Mary. Nimeshukuru mungu. Hello. Hello, children. Praise God. Hey, kwa hindi mtai kuni salimia bana? Na wana tu wewe umeamukatu sa hizi. Wewe, wewe, una oversleep, wewe. Atu unamukatu sa hizi, unata kuitisha breakfast. Kwa hindi sikiza. Mungu mekua pamoja nami, na ito atisha Newton, na fraya mungu sana. Kwa sababu wame nipatia nguvu. Ame nisaidia, ame niprotect kutoka coronavirus, haija nishika, ninashukuru mungu, si kwa nguvu zangu, ni kwa neema yake. Na wewe je, umekuwa je, umekuwa ukifollow the lessons vile zimeenda. La sande mulisoma kusu, ebu ambia mamu na dada hapo. Ebu jaribu kumbuka tiwa, ati mulasema? Na memu rivasi ya la sande ilikuwa? Aha, aha, ayi, unakumbuka? Ah, leo tukona a nice, wonderful lesson ambayo ningependa tuonge. Once upon a time, kulikuwa na mse anaitua Adam. And Adam alikuwa na wife anaitua Eve. Na walikuwa mepewa place power ya kuishi. Ilikuwa tu, eh? 
a nice garden kulikuwa na maua ay 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 maua zingine hapa kali kali hmm? ma rose flower wewe unajua flower gani nyingine kulikuwa pia na ma animals ngoja nikwambie zamani imagine animals azikuwa mbaya mpaka kama wild animals walikuwa tu naishi nazo huku eh hey, anapitana na lion anamwambia niaje lion uko poa ah, nice anaipapa sasa hivi vile unapapa saga yako kapusia makadogi kako anaona kijirafu kimekam ai unajua jirafu anakuaga mrefu wewe ndio unapita oe niaje ah anacheki hivi anacheki wengine huko hivi mazebra tu zikipanda hivi zingine kwa sababu walikuwa wadogo ni lazima iname anachukua wengine chini wengine walikuwa nisi chini all the animals walikuwa kwa hiyo garden of eden lakini wacha nikisho siku moja hey siku moja kuja na animal moja ambaye alikuwa mwerevu sana alikuwa amejitia mwerevu i hope you go home aujitiagi mwerevu kwa parents zako wakikwambia hivi unasema hivi hapana na huyu animal alikuwa anaitwa snake eh hey, najua naona wengine wamefanya hivi wakisikia snake eh hey? Siku hiyo snake walikuwa na kantu na watu hakuwa ati wale wanajificha huko mna wachapa mawe hapana ilikuwa part of the of the garden na alikuwa anaishi vizuri lakini hiyo snake aliongeleshwa na shetani ah akaambiwa wewe kamu wenyu nitatumia ili hao watu adam and eve wako sana na Mungu huyo Mungu wana enjoy sana kwa hii garden wanaenda kwa rive wana simu wakitaka kwa kuna na coronavirus hawakuwa na katazo kwenda ah it's the snake akatumiwa tu na shetani na akakubali na kwa sababu god akisema kitu anakuaga ameimini when god says something he wants everyone to obey him alikuwa amepatia adam and eve instructions akawaambia kama tu vile home mnakuaga na instructions mnaambiwa msifanye hivi na vile shule mko wa shule sio kulikuwa na rules hata god naye mwenyewe alikuwa na rules zake akawaambia miti ile yote iko huku mnaweza enjoy matunda yake lakini moja ili iko pale katikati ya hiyo garden tafadhali hata mkioni na matunda iko nzuri aje msiwai gusa au hata kuchuna mkule kulikuwa na trees mob imagine watu wawili a whole garden yani nimebita two fruits na ilikuwa tu ya watu wawili kwa hivyo hata hawakuwa na haja ya kwenda kwa hiyo mti kwa sababu hata wakitoka bali wanaishi kutoka tu hivi wanapatana na mti hivi si lazima waende huko katikati ya hiyo garden so what happened uh who snake akaenda akona eve akitoka kwa garden kuchuma matunda ya asubuhi mm, anatoka hivi akichuna ile matunda nzuri alafu akasikia we eve ni haje ah kutani hivi anaona ah sema mm, sema snake vipi ah we kamu akaambiwa sasa kwa nini ukuli matunda hii mti iko liko katikati akaambiwa we 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 god alisema tu si why guza hiyo matunda ama tukukula kwa sababu tuta dead how many of us would like to die nobody kila mtu tunafaa ku please our god tunafaa ku please our parents so hivyo akamwambia mimi stay ku die mimi stay ku kosea mungu mungu aniwaheshima ameni um, aliniumba na ili nikue nikimpendeza sasa Snake akamwambia ngoja tafadhali Mungu alisikiliza unakumbuka vile Mungu alisema vizuri alisema msikule au msiguze Hivyo akamwambia alisema tusiguze na hata tusikule na hivyo akamwambia tabia hata huwa sipendi hata kuiangalia mimi napenda tu kupita akamwambia hapana hebu angalie vile hii matunda iko smart angalie vile ina katu tamu eh hey. Iva kashindo sasa huyu ni yeye ameni ni nini tunazozana naye si Mungu alisema akaambiwa Mungu akusema hivyo ah utadai kwani una ana Mungu anakumba na unadai eh Iva kaanza kuona ai yenyewe ati amesema 
Sasa bahati mbaya tu. Eve akasikiliza. Ah. Eh? Eve imagine alisikiza. Akachukua ile tunda, akayuma na zaidi ya hayo akapelekea bwana yake Adam. Adam, ah, ebu angalia kaka fruit vile ni smart. Adam hakuwa anajua pale fruit imetoka. Si alikuwa anajua ni wife yake na wife yake hizi kumletea kitu mbaya. Akampatia akakula. Wa wacha nikwambie. Hey, hey. Wakati tu walipokula mambo yote ikabadilika. Wa wakaanza kujiangalia wakashindwa ai akaangalia hiyo damu akaangalia wakashindwa kwani wewe ni nini mbaya mbona una nguo na hivi akamwambia hebu kwani ni hata umekuja ukiwa uchi ah akajiuliza kwani nini nini me happen nini me happen nini me happen adam akaanza kumuliza kwani hii matundo ulitoa wapi akaanza kumwambia si ile nini 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 niliambia nene nene na 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 snake ni nene ni wewe hata kuniambia hivyo wewe wakaanza kusema kuzi ni nini sada makona hata akimpigia kelele watafanya nini kwanza wakakimbia ili waende kufanya nini kujaribu kutafuta matawi ili wajifunike kwa sababu walikuwa uchi sasa kwa sababu ilikuwa Mungu alikuwa anakuja kwa visit every morning Mungu tu akakuja akapita ai akaona hapa ndio umiu kukuta Adam na Eve kila saa hawako akakuja hivi eh hey akasema si Adam hivi wanapenda kupo hapa every morning na kutaka hapa tunabonga hawako he what will i do now he akam ikabidi amuite Adam niaje mko wapi kwani leo amkuli um, um, matunda hapa hivi vile umemezoea he Adam akasema why sisi tumejificha Allah Mungu akashindwa kwa nini umejificha? Kwa nini kwa nini kwa nini mlifanya? Sasa na, alikuwa anaogopa kombe Mungu. Akaanza wewe oh, oh, if sijui alisijui alitufanya nini? Mungu akasema ai. Isikuwa tu mlikula ile matunda nilimkataza. Akasema oh, sasa sijui utafanya nini? Hiyo story ukitaka kujua vizuri. Nataka leo leo Uende Genesis chapter 3. Usome hiyo story vizuri. Vile Adam wali disobey Mungu. And that's why we have our memory verse for today. Our memory verse comes from the book of 1 Samuel chapter 15 verse 22 and it clearly says to obey is better than sacrifice kuobeni nini kuobeni kutii Adam and Eve walikosa kutii Mungu wakakula lile tunda ambalo walikatazwa Is better ni vizuri zaidi than to sacrifice. Ku sacrifice ni kutoa kafara. Watu wa zamani vile tunatoaga offering squeeze ya pesa kwa church watu wa zamani hawakuwa na offering ya pesa walikuwa na sacrifice kama ni mbuzi ama ni ngombe ili kuonyesha ya kwamba wanashukuru Mungu kumtolea Mungu shukrani zao ili Mungu aweze kuwasikia maombi yao. So to obey. Let's read together. First Samuel chapter 15 verse 22. Can you repeat that? It says to obey 
is better than sacrifice. We should be more obedient. Mungu hataki tu wakati tupatie offering lakini tuna obey. Now, when you are there at home, are you obedient? What will make you know that you are obedient? When your parents are happy with what you are doing. When they ask you to do something, you follow. Our country has been affected by a disease called COVID-19. We have the Ministry of Health has given us instructions. We should obey them. One of them is, wash your hands, osha mikono, sisi sote, let's wash our hands. Another one, simunajua, keeping distance from one another. And another one, niambie, niambie, breste yako, nukumbuche mamu. Hey, unava mask wakati mna, unaongea na mtu wakati umetoka home nyingine all those ndio yes kwa hivyo even when we are at home even our parents the parents let us be obedient to whatever we are we, we the government and even the children teach the children to obey and every time let us remember this memory verse and we are going to say it at the, for the last time. First Samuel chapter 15 verse 22. It says, To obey is better than sacrifice. Sasa nataka kuwana kama unaeza kumbuka. Haya, nanza first Samuel. First Samuel. Chapter 15, verse 22 says, To obey is better than sacrifice. Let us pray. We give thanks to you, O Lord, because of your mild gifts and of your kindness. We want to glorify your name this morning because you have taught us about obedience. O Lord, help us as parents to be able to teach our children to obey. Help the children also to be obedient in whatever they do and whatever they are asked to obey, O oh Lord. Let this nation be obedient to you, O oh Lord. Have mercy upon us and take care of us. Take care of our leaders, take care of our parents, take care of our families, O oh God. Our brothers and sisters, my father, and even our children, O oh my father. Be with us and bless us, O oh God, even this week, O oh God, as we continue meditating on your word and even listening and also reciting this memory verse. For it is in Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. Everybody says, Amen. So, let's meet next Sunday. While this week, you continue remembering to recite each and every day. Recite it to your friend, to your neighbor. Recite it to your mom and dad. And even to your younger and older brothers and sisters. And you shall be blessed by the Lord. Amen. Woo! Be blessed next week. Bye. See ya.